My name is Shimrit Prekolfinko, and I'm the co-founder and CEO of eConcrete, and we bring concrete infrastructure to life. I am a marine biologist and a diver, and I've been exploring some of the world's amazing reefs in over 30 countries across the last 20 years or so. I've witnessed amazing ecosystems, but I've also witnessed devastation, which is why we developed eConcrete. We are over 50% of the human population residing along our coastlines. Coastal development is inevitable. And about 70% of all coastal and marine structures are concrete based, making concrete the second most consumed material in our planet. Concrete is also responsible for 8% of the entire carbon emissions. This fuels another process of climate change where we're seeing stronger and more frequent storms coming in and having our coastlines hardened with breakwaters, seawalls, and other coastal defenses. These defenses are unfortunately destroying beautiful, highly productive coastal habitats like coral reefs, oyster reefs, and mangrove beds, all of which are natural's defenses, the way nature intended, and we're destroying them. The problem with concrete in the marine environment is threefold. We're seeing a very harsh chemical composition, very smooth surfaces, and very high homogeneity, all of which drive down the biodiversity and cause the dominance of invasive species, which is what we're here to change with the concrete, with a win-win solution that brings concrete to life. The patented technology is based on three elements that work in synergy, bioenhancing concrete admix that enhances the marine growth on the concrete, rough surfaces that are nature-inspired, looking at surfaces of oysters and coral polyps, and three-dimensional designs looking for nature for inspiration. These three components work together to bring the concrete to life and allow that without losing any of the strength or the functionality of the concrete element. In fact, we now have a series of products that span from tide pools to armor blocks to marine mattresses, different seawall designs, and ecological piling casement all of which have been successfully impl implemented in different areas across the globe with different stakeholders. This is how we bring the concrete to life, a thick crust of different organisms that help us also stay in compliance with many of the UN Sustainable Development Goals, mainly SDG 14, which is life below water. Through the life that we enhance with e-concrete, we are providing numerous biological and ecological advantages, including better ecosystem services, better biodiversity, and even water quality improvement. In addition, those same organisms are also making the concrete stronger in a process called bioprotection. And finally, also creating an active carbon sink. And this is where we need to scale. We need to start not only protecting our coastlines, but also restoring our coastal communities and coastal ecosystems in large scale infrastructure projects in which we're already involved. At the moment, we have 30 installations across eight countries and six seas, working with ports, with cities agencies, making a bigger change and a bigger impact across industries and helping to bring our win-win solution to every coastline and every coastal community that needs us. Thank you.